The Greytech Advanced Steel Power Pack 2020.1 update has now been released. This update has uh, one main feature. We can now export our model or assemblies or parts to STEP or IGIS format. There are some bug fixes and corrections to data and updates to data in the background of the Power Pack, but the main feature is the export to IGIS and STEP. So we'll start by exporting the model. In the file type we've now got a STEP and IGIS option. So we will we will create a STEP file. We can then choose what we want to export and hit the OK button. What we'll do next, we'll open up plain AutoCAD. So we'll go to the model file and into the folder that the step file was created. We'll choose all files and then we can import our step file. So we can have a look at the imported file. If we go to a southwest isometric and a realistic view, you can see that's imported our advanced steel model. We can also do it for assemblies. So if we select three random assemblies, we'll choose the export parts to ASIS. Again, we will choose the, we'll do an IGIS file this time. We're going to export the assembly. We're also going to move it to the world UCS, so that will put it in the world UCS of the new file. And again, we can choose where the file location is. Then go back to our AutoCAD. and we'll choose the import. So we'll have a look at R2. And see that it's imported that file and set it to the world UCS. So we'll repeat the steps for the single parts select the parts, choose the export parts to ASIS. We're going to use the single part number for the file name. We want to use the part number single. So we'll just remove the assembly number and again we'll move to the WCS. So we'll start a new plain AutoCAD file. Again, we'll import. And this time we'll import M1. And that has then brought in the single part. which you can see has both the cuts on the end.